Hi everyone, my name is Rachel, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I make scrapbooking process videos, and also do live scrap and chats every month. I hope you enjoy my little corner of the big crafty world, and if you'd like to watch more, please subscribe to my channel, and click on the notification bell to always know when I have a new video. If you could also give me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Alright everyone, let's start scrapping! This is Rachel and I'm here with another episode of From Our Scrap Bin. This is a monthly collab where we work with papers that we don't have a full sheet of. So the only full size sheet of paper is our 12 by 12 or 12 by 24 if that's what you want background. And so this month I'm doing a bit of Christmas in July. Uh, I'm not a big scrapbooker of Christmas. I tend to put it off so I have multiple years of Christmases where I have to actually still do the scrapbooking. So I'm like, let's take advantage of the Christmas in July idea and go ahead and get some of these knocked out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys put on fast forward before I do two things. First, make sure you look into the description box below and check out the links to all the other YouTubers participating in this collab. And second, if you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. All right, everyone, let's get going. All right, so this is going to be a pretty quick layout. I've got three three by four horizontal photos. Um, now, as usual, I have no plans yet, but when I tend to work with scraps, a lot of the times I just either use them the size they are or just kind of cut them into random bits and go from there. So, and random bits is what I'm going with today. So the first thing I decide is I'm going to do kind of like a modified film strip where I have them all uh, matted on this red and cream floral design. Um, and I'm just going to run them down that vertically. And like I said, it's just kind of like a modified film strip. It's one of the ways when I have multiple smaller photos, I like to put the photos together so they become a larger element on the page rather than when you're searching for them because there's a lot going on in these photos. They're not like a one person photo so it's not it's not a simple photo it's dogs and people and stockings and christmas trees and all sorts all sorts of things going on now i'm trimming apart the sheet that has oh gosh i forgot to mention this is simple stories silent night something along those lines hang on i've got a uh, peace on earth that's what it is uh so what i'm cutting apart is the plaid edged journaling card and then also that poinsettia uh, cut apart card as well. So I chunked up that green vine paper and now I've got the green vine and then I think the other side of that is the other side of that the the floral or is it the cream? I don't remember now. So I've got it like this right now and I like what's going on over on the left hand side. I like the green vine paper, I like the floral black, and I like where the photos are, and I like having the plaid piece be over on the left hand side and it kind of coordinates with having that plaid vertical strip over on the right hand side. Now I'm not as happy with what's going over on the right hand side. I, I, I know there's too much there. I, I know I don't love what's going on. So I'm kind of just looking at it, trying to figure out what I don't like about it, but I can't necessarily, I'm, like I don't know exactly what it is I don't like about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start to glue down what's going over on my left hand side, but not, and then I'll worry about what's going over on the right hand side. Now I could have cut this chunk out. What I'm doing is I'm fussy cutting, well, that points any right there. But to be honest, this video is quite short as it is. I didn't want to have to rush through what I'm trying to explain. And I realized that card, I, I prefer having the holly berry thing on the lower side of it. So I flip it over. I'm just going to try not to push it down because I'm trying to build, use it building on the rest of the paper. So I like that green vine paper there. And I'm just trying to 
eyeball it to make sure it's straightish. Okay, yeah, I was right. The, the black poinsettia paper is the other side of that green vine paper. So I go ahead and like that. And I, so I liked all of that and I was happy with all of that. And for some reason, because the vines are not straight up and down, they kind of wind, um, I needed to grab my T-square ruler because I, my eyes were being tricked. So I've got that cream paper and I decide that second vine paper is what is messing my eye up. So I decide that's just not going to work in this layout. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and use that cream hollyberry paper and then I'm going to use the plaid paper as my end piece. Now, I glued down the poinsettia paper too close to the edge there, so I had to kind of pull that back up. I didn't really mind because um, the cream paper is going to go over it, so if it's a little creased, it's no big deal. And I know creased is not how you say that word. It's just something, one of those like silly things I do personally. Don't know why. Just do. All right, so I get that plaid piece tucked behind, and then I go ahead and get my photos laid down on top of everything, and then I'm just going to go ahead and trim off the parts that are hanging over the edge of the 12 by 12 background paper. I don't know if I mentioned, this is Twig uh, by Basil. That's my preference for a craft color piece of paper. I find the craft in Basil to be too dark and prefer this one, which is called Twig. It is a textured cardstock, um, which is, if I'm not going to mix media or stamp, I prefer a textured cardstock just for extra added texture. Now, I went and pulled out these alphas. They are shiny gold over foam with a thin black outline in the center and I use those for the words dog show and then I added in from uh, Simple Stories wood grain mini alpha the word holiday so my entire title is holiday dog show so I'm just these are just a couple pictures of the dogs from this is actually from 2019 oh i will tell you i didn't add it in this in the video but if you look at the photos afterward uh down on the bottom near that wood veneer hollyberry piece i add in the same gold with the black line outline in line i don't even know what that's called um the numbers the year 2019 i just i had actually meant to do it and then just completely forgotten all right so i've been decorating my page i had that tag that's from ellie studio uh with where it has the red december and then i added added that merry christmas banner over it along with the poinsettia sticker and the phrase stickers as well as that other hollyberry sticker up above the poinsettia all of this is from the peace on earth collection except the tag and the banner which are from ellie studio and then the wood veneer which is from i don't have any idea so i'm going ahead and writing my journaling and i'm just talking about how the dogs are always so cute on christmas and um, my stepfather even did it. That's one of his dogs. And he, this is just something that he does. He goes into quote unquote show dog position. And um, he's not a show dog in any way, shape or form. But it's just something funny that happens. I'm going to finish off with a little bit of Heidi, not Heidi Swap, oi, um, <laughs> Shimmer's Red Gold uh, Spattering. That is it for me today. Thank you guys for joining me. Don't forget to check out everyone else's videos in the description box below. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye!